Hello friend and welcome to this new Terraform scenario based series. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to discuss on the new Terraform scenario based questions. You have an application that requires an AWS RDS instance and you want to manage its life cycle using Terraform. What steps would you take to achieve this? So after looking these questions, you think about there will be some twist, but this types of question is very simple. How can we manage a resource that is created by the Terraform? Terraform itself manages that resource. If any of the resource that is managed or created in simple word, you can say created using the Terraform files, that is managed by the Terraform and we can manage the life cycle of that particular resources. So if you encountered these types of questions in interview, then there will be a very straight answer for this. That a Terraform manage the life cycle of any resource if that resource is created by Terraform itself. So this question is simply asking you how can you create a RDS instance using the Terraform? Okay, so to manage the AWS instance lifecycle using the Terraform, you can use the AWS dash DB dash instance resources to create or if you want to modify, you have to do the changes in the Terraform file. Or if you want to delete that particular RDS instance, you have to apply the Terraform destroy command. Define the RDS instance, use the AWS DB instance. Okay, so in this screen, you can refer the resource AWS underscore DB underscore instance. And here we have the local name my RDS. We are defining the allocated storage, the engine, MySQL, the version of the engine that we are using, and which type of instance class we are using for creations of the MySQL RDS instance, and what will be the name of that particular TB that you created, the RDS instance, and the credential, okay, and the parameter group in which this particular instance belongs to and the storage type and what is the name this is for your internal purpose that what will be the name tag name that you are going to use for the rds instance so you can see that the in this example the aws underscore db instance resources is used to create the mysql database instance with a 20 gb storage volume and a db.t2.micro instance class and a set of default MySQL 5.7 parameters. The name, username or the password parameter are used to specify the name and the login credential of the database. So manage the RDS instance lifecycle, you just need to use the command Terraform apply to create the RDS instance. After the instance has been created, you can use the Terraform plan command to make the changes to the RDS instance configurations, such as modifications of the instance, modifying the storage volume, or adding the tags. So these you can use to modify the instance after the creations. Use the Terraform apply command to apply the changes to the RDS instance. In case you want to destroy the RDS instance, when you are finished with the RDS instance, you can use the Terraform destroy command to delete the RDS instance. So these are the steps through which you can manage the life cycle of the RDS instance using their Terraform. This allow you to automate the creations, modifications or the deletions of the RDS instance, which help you to ensure the consistency and reliability across the application infrastructure. 
So these types of cons questions may be you encountered in the interview. Okay. Hope this video helps you to understand the questions and what is the solutions for this. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe it. It always motivate me. Thanks. Thanks for the watching this video. Have a nice day.